G11, day one, we're introducing you to is at the end of a word. ES is making the is sound at the end of these words. So if you hear s at the end of a word, you just write an S. But if you hear is, you know you have to write ES. You'll also notice that a lot of these words, just before the is sound, these letters, the s, the sh, and the ch, also have a little bit of a sound in them. That's why we know that we have to add the EZ after an, an S or a double S in a word, an SH or a CH. We always follow them with ES. But even though there is a rule for that, it's probably the easiest way to work out if you add ES or S is to listen and hear. Us means you write ES and S at the end of the word means you just write the S. And so we've got some of the words that you've previously learnt. So um, you might say this as glasses or glasses if you're saying to spell um, because you have to remember that the A is making an R sound. Same with passes or you could say passes to make it easier for you to spell. You could say classes or if you want to make it easier to spell you could say classes. Um, dresses is easy. Wishes. Now look at the wish. If you say wish and put your hand over your mouth, you'll notice there's no air after the W, so there's no H after the W. Um, crashes, dishes, bunches, torches, so you've got that or sound there, and lunches. So they're all ending with that z sound, and they've all got a bit of a sound in the letters before at the end of the base word. Okay, so glasses, we've got this double S here because if you were saying these words to spell, these would all have a short vowel sound and we know if it's a short word with a short vowel sound and it ends with S, we have to put two S's. That's why they've all got those two S's in them. So glasses are something that you might wear or people might wear on their nose to help their eyes to see better. If you have more than one glass on the table to drink from, you would say that there are glasses out. So it could also mean something that you drink from. Passes could mean that um, it's a ticket or it's a piece of paper that you might be given to or you might use to get into the show or into a movie or something. To, so it's an entry ticket. Um, it also means, it can also be a verb where um, it's something that you can do. So he passes my house every day when he walks to school. Um, he passes me the tomato sauce when I ask for it. Um, classes could mean the people in your classroom. You have classes, you have different rooms that you might have to go to at school, different classes, or there might be lots of different classes at your school. It can also mean if you order things into into different um, ranks. So you might order um, people or things into um, a type of rank. So police officers, of, uh, police force often has different classes or different ranks. So does the army. Um, dresses means um, clothes that um, a female would typically wear. Um, and so it could, all, it could be a plural version of a noun. But it could also be a verb in that we all have to put our clothes on. So when we put our clothes on, it means that we're dressing. So he dresses himself every day for school means he puts his clothes on. So it wouldn't matter whether you're male or female. When we put our clothes on, we say dresses. Wish is mean, means when you really want something. So you might get three wishes um, if you happen to find an Aladdin's lamp and you rubbed it. Um, so that would be a noun, but if it's something that you're going to do, it could also be a, ver a verb. So she wishes for um, a new dress or she wishes for a new book to read. Crashes might mean when something smashes into another thing um, and it crashes. It can be a big noise. Dishes are the plates that we eat off um, or serve food on. Bunches, we can have bunches of flowers, bananas, grapes, it means a group of. Torches could be um, like a flashlight torch that you use when you go camping or at night if you go for a night walk. Um, and it can also mean a flame on the end of a stick as in where they originate, torches originate from. 
Um, lunches is the food that you usually eat at midday. So there are lots of lunches ready at the canteen at school. So let's read the word salmon and spell the word and write them. We've got glasses, good all asses, good all asses, G-L-A-S-S-E-S, G-L-A-S-S-E-S, G-L-A-S-S-E-S. Cover it and write it three times. And by the time you get to the third one, it should be nice and easy for you. So, passes, put us, is, put us. Is put us is P A S S E S P A S S E S P A S S E S. Some people like rather than say S S, you might like to say double S. It depends what you find easier. I find a lot of kids actually prefer to go S S rather than double S. Okay, you can finish off those words during that process. G11 day 2, we're revising the ES at the end of a word, can make its is sound. So when we hear is at the end of a word, we know to write ES. So let's have a look. We've got glass is, so you hear the is sound, but we know to write ES. Pass is. Class is, dress is, wish is, crash is, dish is, bunches, torch is, lunch is. So to know whether to write S or ES at the end of a word, when you hear is, you write ES. When you hear S, you just write an S. So sometimes it's easier to say words to spell them. Um, so if you're going to do that, say to spell glass would be glasses, passes, classes, okay? So where this, we know that the A in these words is making an R sound, there's no R there. So we're going to read these words, sound them, spell them and then write them. And it's very important to change from sounding the word to spelling the word to know that we don't put the R in in these words. Um, even though we're hearing the R sound. So, glasses, get all R's, and we've got the two S's making the sound, then we spell it G L A S S E S. Cover it, write the base word, and add your U's on the end. Passes or passes, whichever you find easier if you're doing safe spell. Put Passes. P A S S E S. Now, if you're saying to spell this, would be classes. If you're not, it would be classes. So then we would sound it. K U R S E S. C L A S S E S. Now you can choose whether you find it easier to say. Double S or SS. So double just means two of a letter. You can finish those on your own and it's not too bad because we know that all, all of these words we're hearing the ES is making the UZ sound. Copy the list word and draw. The dresses are in the cupboard. So if you wanted to you could highlight the list word and then write it. And there's one box for each sentence. They go around the corner. Circle the correct spelling and write. So dresses, mm, dresses, dress us. So we know this is the right one. And then you just have to write the word on the line at the end of that line of words. G11 day three, we're revising that ES at the end of a word, says us, and on these words we're making them into plurals. So we've got glasses, passes, classes, dresses, wishes, crashes, 
dishes, bunches, torches, lunches. So we can colour the ES on the end of all of those words and we know whenever we hear is at the end of a word, we're going to write ES. It's interesting to note that the sound that comes before the ES always has a sound in it and that's how we know, that's the rule that tells us that we have to use ES. If the sound before the, the ES, the is, has a, a bit of a sound in it. So let's read the words, sound the words, spell the words, and we're going to cover them before we write them. So we've got glasses, g-l-a-s-s-e-s, g-l-a-s-s-e-s, g-l-a-s-s-e-s. You can add a bit of rhythm to that, it might help your brain to remember it. Passes, p a s s p a S S E S P A S S E S. Okay, and check it when you finish to make sure that it's spelled correctly. Here we're using some of these words in their different tenses. So we've got the base words here, pass. Now we know that if we're adding um, the E S to these, it's saying is, but we know we have to write E S all the words in this column so we're going to have passes, dresses, wishes, crashes. Here we're adding the ing to all of these words, dressing, wishing, crashing and here we're adding the ed so we'd have dressed, sounds like a t but we know to write ed on the end of all of these. Wished, sounds like a t but we know to write ed, passed, it sounded like a t too, passed but we know we're writing ed and crashed. Sounds like a T, but we know we have to write the ED on the end. So singular, plural, singular means one, plural means more than one, um, and we know with these words, when we mean more of one of these things, we're adding ES. So one glass, two glass, is, and we're writing ES for the is sound. One bunch, four bunches, one sash, five sashes, one torch, two torches, one dish, a pile of dishes, one punch, six punches. So you can finish that, write the base word of each word. So you might want your highlighter again here to just highlight those base words before you have to write them on the line. And there's some other words besides our list word. And then you just write the base word only on the line. Write the list word, so you've got some dishes, glasses, dresses, you can write the words underneath. On the next page, write what you would wish for if you had three wishes. So what would you ask for in your first wish? You'd write that here. Your second wish, you'd write here. And your third wish, you'd write there. And then there's a little box for you to draw a picture of the thing that you're wishing for if you had three wishes. G11 day four, we are interest strand words today are about plants and leaves, mostly about leaves. So research some leaves, see if you can look on Google Images and find some different shapes of leaves or you can go outside um, and have a look at different shaped leaves and draw four different shaped leaves in each, one in each box. Um, then list four things that leaves absorb. So we've given you four pictures here to help you. So the first one, number one, would be, starts with A. Um, so it would be air, and you know how to spell air because we've taught you that sound before. Then you could even draw a line from the word to the picture. An evergreen tree keeps or loses its leaves, so you have to decide which word it would be. And highlighter, a deciduous tree keeps or loses its leaves. So you'll have to maybe do a bit of research to work that one out too. It's a bit of, there's a bit of a hint in the words evergreen and deciduous too. Then down the bottom you have to draw and label three leaves that we like to eat. So you could draw some lettuce or cabbage or spinach or some coriander, whatever you like. 